Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to emboss a stamped image using your brother Scan and Cut. The stamped image we'll be embossing is this butterfly from the Beautiful Day stamp set by Stampin' Up. It's a nice large image. It's actually larger than the one on the cover and it has lots of inner spaces. And this is the kind of image you want to emboss because if you were just to have an outline of an image, it wouldn't really look like anything, like too much when you emboss it. But when you have all of these little cool patterns, then you have a nice embossing pattern. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm using Memento Black ink on my butterfly and I'm tapping it around. I put down a foam pad already. This is a foam pad I had from my, my stamping block case. And I'm using Whisper White cardstock by Stampin' Up. And I'm using Memento Black ink I usually use Memento Black ink because I'm going to be coloring with the blends, but in this case I'm not even going to be coloring this image, we're just using it for scanning purposes only. But still, I like Memento Black ink because of the good coverage. Now look at that, that's good. That's exactly what I want. I wasn't sure which one of mine had a lot of ink in it, so I brought them both. Now that you want to clean off your stamp, let's see if I have my stamp and scrub handy, and I do. Okay, there's a wet side and a dry side of this. And also what I'm doing is I'm letting this dry because you don't want to scan an image right after you stamp it. It might get a little smeared in the scanner. All right, that is, that is the wet side because there's little raindrops. And that's the dry side because there's a little sun up there. I'm going to take some of my Stampin' Mist, put a little Stampin' Mist on that side, clean my stamp real good, check it out dry it good on that side. I leave my stamp and scrub open a little while because I don't want it to get like moldy if I just close it now and it starts to dry and it gets all wet. So I'll leave that open to dry. All right, so now I can put my image back in the stamp set. And for the project, I'll show you at the end, I did use a sentiment from this stamp set. Always thinking of you. I'm gonna show you the project at the end because I really want you to be blown away with what the Scan and Cut can do for the embossing. And I think it's going to be better than you expect. Okay. You'll be pleasantly surprised. All right, it's still, it's still drying. That part up there had a lot more ink. Now here's the deal. You can't just, well, I, I've had, I have the CM350, the CM300, and now I have the SDX125. All of those will do this. I've actually already tried this on a couple of the models. However, you can't just you don't just have the embossing tools. Let's just say, let's put it that way. You don't have, I'm not even using one of the images. Let's not even go there. There are images that you can get when you activate your embossing, but you need a starter kit for other reasons. There's, it's what's called an embossing starter kit. You need the embossing starter kit to get the embossing tools. That's the way you get the embossing tools. I'll show you how to assemble these tools in a second. And that's how to get the embossing mat, the mat we're going to be using. Here's the embossing mat. Okay. I've been playing with that a lot. And you also get embossing, not for this tutorial. I'm not going there. I'm not doing a deep, deep dive, but there's a way to make, you can make your own templates and things. Um, embossing, it's like making your own embossing folder. Right now I'm doing what's called line embossing. So you need an embossing mat, you need embossing tools. And in my case, I also needed to emboss, activate the premium embossing function inside of Brother Canvas Workspace. Beyond the scope of this tutorial, I'm assuming anyone watching this already has that. And if you don't already have the embossing starter kit, then please use the link in my description because it helps support my channel if you use those links. There is going to be a link to the embossing starter kit on Amazon. It's not that expensive and I don't remember how much it is because I've had it for a very long time. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, the overall concept is, I'm not even using the embossing tools or the embossing mat yet. I'm using just the regular mat. I'm gonna scan this in and I'm going to scan it in, not direct cut, because I'm not cutting it. I'm going to use scan to cut data. So we're going to put this on the mat, okay, just like that. I'm going to rub it on there. Again, don't rub over the stamped image because it might smear. I'm using my little brayer. I will pull the machine closer. Hopefully I don't spill my drink. Let me get my ginger ale here. My throat is a little scratchy. You might, you might be able to notice that, but the show must go on because I promise my viewers I'm doing a marathon this week <laughs> of videos. Okay, so here we are. We are putting, I'm going to load the mat. 
and I say viewers, you, subscribers, I hope you are one of my subscribers. I'm very excited about this week. All right, so let's say we're going to scan. Okay, we're going to scan. Let's see. I know I have a stylus. We're going to use scan to cut data. So you turn on your machine, you say scan, you say scan to cut data. We only need to scan six inches because the butterflies at the top of the mat, I'll show you how to change that. You can say scan area 12 by 6. I'm going to leave it at 12 by 6. You don't need, don't waste your time doing a 12 by 12 scan. Black and white is fine as far as scanning. And it says, put, make sure you're in position lever 2. And I am in position lever 2. And that's on the side, on this side, by the way. That way, there's a little position lever. And you just have to raise that up to 2 when you're scanning. And especially, especially when you're embossing. It, it, then you need to get the scanner plate really high. All right, now you have, when you use scan to cut data, you have three choices. You have the outer, so if I just wanted the outside of the butterfly, you have used this choice. I want the inside and outside of this butterfly. So I want the second choice. And this one is if you just have lines all over the place, you would use that choice. But let's just say we want this one, the inside and outside. We're going to then frame the part we want. We're gonna say preview. It makes you preview before it saves. You say okay. And it's going to just ask you where it when you want to save it. In this case, let's just save it to our machine. You could save it to Canvas Workspace if you're going to manipulate it further. But let's save it to our machine. I'll talk about manipulating it further later, although I'm not going into Canvas Workspace in this tutorial. I'm just saving it to the machine because that's the easiest. Now we can go home, delete all patterns. Now you'd be like, oh no, we deleted it. It doesn't matter. Pull this off. Pull this off. You don't need it anymore at all for this tutorial okay we're gonna well you would if you're doing other things but let's just say we don't need it okay we don't need that butterfly anymore what i'm doing now moving my machine machine out of the way so i could show you how to work with this embossing mat okay if you're new, if you don't have an embossing mat don't worry you can you could just think of this for the future like like cool things your brother's can and cut that can do you know you want to take the green side keep the plastic on the green side and turn it and so the green side is down and attach the green side to the mat. It'll stick. It's about 12 inches wide, this mat, by nine inches, nine inches, um, I don't show you that. So it only goes to about nine inches, nine and a half, okay? I use my brayer to sort of smooth it out. I mean, we're only embossing one butterfly, so we really don't need to worry about, you know, that we're only to worry about this corner. Now you're gonna peel off the, the plastic cover. This, the mat is very sticky. Okay, so we're just peeling off the plastic cover to keep it that way. Put that off to the side. Now you're going to add the material that you're going to emboss. Okay, so let's talk about embossing versus debossing. I'm going to find some silver foil. So I'm going to use this Stampin' Up! Silver Foil cardstock. It works great for this kind of thing. It's really thick cardstock and it comes in silver, gold, black, and I think rose gold or copper or some other colors. But Stampin' Up! has awesome cardstock. Okay. I'm using silver foil. So if I wanted to like put this down like this and I I put it down with the silver side up, my embossing tool, let me show you the embossing tool. It's I'll just show you this one. It's going to dig down into the butterfly. So really I'm going to be debossing the butterfly. Debossing. Okay? Because it's going to dig into it. But if I want the butterfly to be if I want the silver side raised like embossing, I'm going to turn the paper over like that. Okay? White side up. That means I'm going to emboss because that means my butterfly is going to have puff. It's going to puff up. It's going to be embossed. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm putting the white side. So you could do either. Both look great. I have examples of both at the end. I'll show you. Stick around. Okay, but that one, I'm just putting white side. So now we're going to put that in and load the mat. Let me bring this closer. Closer, closer. My machine. Okay, we're going to load the mat using that button and I'll let you see the whole screen. I'm going to pull it closer. All right, here we go. We have, we have an embossing tool. It comes with, when you get this embossing starter kit, you get the three millimeter embossing. And I thought that was too thick for this project. And you get the 1.5 millimeter embossing. Okay. So you just take your embossing holder, your embossing holder, and you, you line up the arrows like that. See the arrow? The arrow goes down, the arrow goes up, and you screw the cap on. It's so simple to load. And if you want to change to the tool. Now you just take out your... I don't want you to miss anything. Take out your blade holder. I just went like that. All I did was take out my blade holder. 
Okay, and I'm putting this. Okay, let's just, I don't want to make. There, it was like that. You might not have seen me do the little flip. I'm flipping up the blade holder, the auto blade, and I'm going, lifting that out, and I'm putting the embossing tool in. It doesn't go down too far. Here, let's show you that better. There you go. It doesn't go down too far. And you just snap that shut. And that's it. Now we're back to the screen. So we have, we, we're, remember, what we've done so far is we've scanned in the butterfly. We're going to say retrieve data. Where do we retrieve it from? We retrieve it from the machine. That's where we just saved it. It's the last file. It's that one. And there it is. Okay, let me zoom in to show you how cool that is that we got all those lines. So now we're doing what's, what's called line embossing. Not region embossing, line embossing, because we're embossing along the lines. We're not filling in the regions, we're just going along all the lines. We're gonna say okay, we're gonna say okay. And now it says select, we say select, and we have the choices, cut, draw, emboss. I've already shown you how to draw using the universal pen holder, so check out some of my tutorials on that. We are using this feature now, emboss. That's what we're using right now. Okay, we're embossing. We're just gonna say start. Now, if you're using the CM350, this works. You do everything I just showed you, except you have to set the pressure and the speed. It, it, see, this is auto blade technology. I'm using, right now I'm using the SDX125. So when I did this yesterday on the CM350 and, and other times, you just, have to, you just have to set the pressure to four and the speed to one. Actually, I had the speed up higher, but it still worked, maybe two, but you can do pressure of three or four. Okay, and now we're just gonna say start. And I'm just gonna show you what that's doing, but I'm not gonna make you wait three minutes. I'll continue the video in a minute, but I just wanna show you what it's doing. It's just, it's just digging into this. So the last thing I'll say before I stop this part of the video is you never want to cut on this mat. This is just a mat for embossing only. It's a little puffy mat. So if we were to cut, then you have to take this mat off and put this cardstock back down. See how it's embossing? Pretty cool. Embossing meaning when I turn it over, the silver is going to be raised. So I'll see you in the next part of the video when you get to see the beautiful butterfly and then we'll cut it up and do something with it. Not cut it up, we'll, we'll put it on a card. Thank you. Okay, we're done embossing. All I'm doing now is just up here, it's asking, it just says finished embossing. I say, okay, I'm unloading the mat and that's it. So I can put my embossing tools away and, I, and now I can go back to using, the, you know, cutting. So what you wanna do now is you just wanna remove this silver foil from your, from your embossing mat. Okay, and it does curl up a bit. So keep that in mind if you're gonna be doing some cutting or something later, the, the foil does curl up a bit because it's so thick. Look how cool that is. We have an embossed butterfly. So let's make a little, sorry, my lighting is funny. Put my lighting better. Okay, now I have a little project we'll make with it. So we'll just cut it, we'll put it on a card. And then, I mean, I'll just show you how I put it on a card. We don't actually have to do all that. So basically I took, I took the, so it's embossed because it's raised. Okay, so that's what, that's what that, by definition that one means, okay? And then if you were, so if I was to deboss it, it would be, it would be sunken in. And I'll show you this. So basically what I did next, I'll just tell you all the steps is I took, I cut this out three by four, and then I used my, I used this corner rounder. Okay, I used the corner rounder and I rounded the edges. Okay, I'm gonna show you this next. So then I, so that's just what the card looks like. And then I add a few enamel dots, some Royal Peacock Specialty Designer Series paper, which is also foiled. That was a blueberry bushel. This is the color blueberry bushel. And I used what's called shimmery white cardstock. So it has all this like glitter in it. And then I put always thinking of you in blueberry bushel. I stamped it in blueberry bushel. So that's how I created this card. Okay, so you may be wondering, Paper Chef, like what about cutting these out? Like. This is, this is a scan and cut after all. There's a few more steps to cutting them out. And it has to do with, I needed to use my, my software. I had to use the scan to cut data and I had to save them into my software. And I did it, I added the offset lines in my software, meaning the Canvas workspace, which is free online. Okay, so this one is debossed because it's indented. And I actually like that. And then this is embossed because it's raised. So that's the couple butterflies. Okay, and I'm also teaching brother scan and cut course on this on the SDX 125 and in that course I show you how to cut out create and cut out 
these embossed snowflakes. And if you watched my tutorial yesterday on how to create snowmen, you'll see I did, I used one of my embossed snowflakes on a snowman project. And I actually made his little nose a little smaller. So that's just how you can use some of the embossed elements from your scan and cut. Okay, there's just so much you can do with embossing. I mean, you can even emboss other types of materials. All right, so I wanted to just give a shout out to Karen, who's my winner from yesterday. I did, I'm doing drawings all week. She won the Take Your Pick tool. And, you know, congratulations. And I even sent her extra little putty refills. Okay, I want to thank Anita. She was also my customer yesterday. She came in shy of a few minutes, right behind Karen, and didn't get the prize. We're still going to send her something, but not the Take Your Pick tool, because that was, that was all I had. Now, I also wanted to give a shout out to Cynthia. She's my first Patreon. I just started something new on my channel. I haven't even launched the video yet. I'll launch it next week. But it's a way to sponsor, or not really sponsor because you're not actually sponsoring me like as far as a company, but it's a way to support my channel. Let's put it that way. So if you want to support this channel so that I can continue to make videos more often, then, then it's a way of doing that. And I'll have lots more giveaways. And you'll get lots of perks too. Like for example, Cynthia is, is at the level where she'll get coupons, free coupons to my courses and things like that. So there are perks for also for you. So it's not just, a, you know, it's, it's a pretty, it's a neat program. It's called Patreon. And there'll be a link at the end of this video or right now while I'm talking about it. All right, so today's giveaway for the first customer, uh, Paper Pumpkin subscriber or team member that joins my team today. And you have to be US only. To be in the United States, you can't be abroad and join my team. You're going to get this really cool stamp set that's exclusive to host only host hostesses. The only way to get this is to host a party or to have an order over $150, but you're getting it for free and I'm going to ship it to you. It's called Time for Tags. It coordinates with our timeless tag punch and it's a really cool uh, stamp set for coloring and it's versatile for all kinds of occasions. And as you can see, and it's not photopolymer, it's rubber, so it's really high quality. So that's what you're going to get if you are the first one to order today. But thank you for watching. This is The Papered Chef, and I will see you next time. And, and by the way, I should have mentioned, the whole reason I'm giving away things all week and making so many videos in this marathon was to thank you for my, your support. And I've had 10,000 subscribers as of last week. And so I'm very, very humbled, grateful, and thank you for your support of my channel. And I hope it keeps growing, and I hope I can keep making these videos for you on Brother Scan and Cut, Stampin' Up! Products and Craft Fair Inspiration. Thank you.